What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Josiah back here with another video. Today's video, we have something very exciting for you all. I'm really hyped to get this going. Today, we're gonna be working on the dirt jump setup at my house. Now, I wanted to start this project a long time ago, but I was kind of waiting for some people to come out and help me dig. And I'm realizing that's probably not gonna happen. We did get one helper, and it's gonna be a very important helper because it is my uncle. And he happens to be very good with heavy machinery. And we're lucky enough to have access to some heavy equipment. So we're gonna use that to kind of push dirt around and get things in a general form. And then I'll go through with a shovel, get those lips and landings dialed, make everything look pretty. But before we jump into this one, go make sure to check out Brandon Knopp's channel. He actually came out to Forest Grove Skate Park and we got some clips together over on his channel. I'll link that video at the end of this video. I'll put it in the description and I'll probably put it right here as well. So go make sure you give that a watch. Should be a good one. Not sure how much footage he ended up getting at Forest Grove Skate Park, but I did get some clips that I'm pretty happy with. So go check out Brandon's video, subscribe to him because I'm hoping I'll be on his channel a little bit more throughout the summer and maybe we'll get him out here on the dirt jumps and the ramp set up here soon. Now that we got some piles of dirt, I'm going to go through with the quad and we're going to pack them in and then I'll go through with the shovel and carve out the lips. Here's what we're working with after the quad did its thing and got these packed in. Look how wide this is, guys. We'll put the shovel right here for a reference. This one's really wide and it's gonna be pretty sick because of how wide it is. I feel pretty comfortable maybe tricking it. It's gonna be pretty intimidating to hit these the first time. Maybe I'll be a dirt jump guy after this, I'm not sure. But we're gonna go through with the shovel. I already started a little bit. As you can see, we're gonna carve out these lips. And I forgot to film this, but we got this one looking pretty solid. Went through with the shovel, got them all wet and Started packing it in with the shovel, getting it smooth, but it's gonna take a lot more work as you can see. It's still there's still cracks and it's kinda kinda choppy, but I think it'll actually be good enough for me to ride and at least get a feel for it. Here's what the takeoff looks like. It's looking pretty solid. Boom, little gap, landing. Then we just got to work on this one a little bit and then we'll we'll hit these things see how they feel got this carved out a little bit um now i just need to whack it with a shovel about a million times which sucks i kind of got a blister on my hand from doing it but it must be done this is the worst part guys it sucks so we're gonna whack this a lot and then hopefully we'll be able to ride it at least hit it a couple times and see if I want to change anything. All right, well, I think that's good enough for now. I do want to jump these before doing too much work, just in case I need to change something. I don't want to get them dialed and then have to like carve it out even more. So it's a lot of work, you guys. That's tiring stuff. I might grab the bike and see if this is jumpable. It's a little bit squishy up here because of all the rain that we've been having, but it's looking pretty nice. It's kind of a gnarly one, <laughs> not gonna lie. This landing kind of scares me. And then we don't really have anywhere to go except up this grassy berm. Might want to rake out these bottoms because they're pretty rough. I didn't do any work on the transition pieces here. We're gonna do one of these. This dirt is this dirt is kind of rocky and there's like glass and stuff in it. It's pretty rough. So we gotta make sure we got all that out before we go hitting these. Well, I guess it's time to hit these things. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared. I'm not much of a jumper. I am capable, but it, it is scary for me especially with these gnarly lips. Scared I'm gonna blow them out, but it's all right, cause they're not, they're not dialed yet. So we can always do some more work on them. But I do want to hit them. I'm like actually stressing this a little bit, you guys, but it's 
got to be done. We got to hit these things. Imagine I do all that work and then I just don't even ride them because I'm too scared. Let's get suited up. Send it. Here we go. Just need to make sure I'm not going to blow out the lip on my way up because that could end badly. I don't want to get anti pop and go TV or something crazy. But I think it feels solid enough. So if we hit this one, we got to hit the second one. Should probably go check the second one because that was the squishy one. Okay, how does one go about hitting dirt jumps for the first time? I think it's just always scary. You just gotta send it. <laughs> it's actually insane how scared I am. Okay, here we go. Let's hit it. You know, that was actually too chill. Maybe I should have made him bigger. Nah, I think it's fine. I think it's a good size. It'll allow me to do tricks. Not feel like I'm gonna die, so... We're gonna try to boost it a little more, though. Here we go. Definitely a little squishy, which is kind of taking away my speed for the second one. But it is fun, so we're going to keep riding it a little bit. Alright, so first impressions. It is a little bit soft, so it's kind of slowing me down for the second jump. I might need to let it dry, or I might need to make landing a little bit steeper or taller or both that way we can have plenty of speed to hit this one i don't know i might have to wait and see what it's like when it's dry and see if it gives me the speed that i want also i need to make these lips a little bit steeper i think it's a little bit mellow this one kind of is abrupt it kind of pops right there so i might need to either smooth it out or make the whole thing steeper i think that would the ideal but as you can see it's a little bit soft and making some ruts all right you guys we made this thing significantly steeper as you can see it's hard to tell on camera actually but it is a lot steeper and it's just a little bit too abrupt now it's taking a lot of work it definitely feels better but it's still just a bit too abrupt. So I think I might want to make this just a tiny bit steeper. Maybe the landing too, but we're gonna have to do that on a later date because I am getting very tired. Let's jump this though. I'll show you guys how it looks. Well, it pops me way better. It's just a little bit too abrupt. So we need to carve it out a little bit more. I couldn't resist making this first one steeper because I made the second jump feel so much better. So we made it steeper. We're going to hit it, see how it feels, and then probably not even going to pack it in. I might throw some water on it, water it down a little bit, and then call it a day because as you can see, I'm drenched in sweat and I am very tired. So. All right, same thing as the last one. It just feels a little bit too abrupt now, so we'll have to carve it out a little more. But I'm calling it a day, otherwise I might die out here in this heat. That's good. Okay, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Goodbye. Well, it turns out this is gonna be the end of the video because we've been getting a lot of rain showers the past couple days, and as you can see, the dirt jumps are still wet. I wanted to show you guys what they look like when they're dry and get a little session on them, but that's just not gonna happen this week. So I'll have to update you guys in next week's video, hopefully maybe the one after that. But yeah, it's been pretty stormy the last few days, so it's, it's not gonna happen this week. I only have so much time, unfortunately. But that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. Sorry if this was a little bit of a boring video, but it had to be done. I wanted to get these dirt jumps going. But that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to drop me a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.